Hi listeners, welcome to my channel. We have covered the overview of July and the Cancer season, the Cancer new moon and the volatility we will experience in August and we have seen a preview of that volatility already in early part of July. Today we are going to go deeper into each sign to understand what needs to be initiated to support this volatility over the course of these two weeks and what oppositions we are about to face to our new starts and new efforts or beginnings in July. Understanding this is key to handling the volatility we would see peak in August. As I said, we cannot do Leo season in August without understanding the requisite support from Cancer season. Influence holds for two weeks and Moon is now visible, making this the right time to plant new seeds in line with the specific themes we would discuss for your sign. You should check your rising sign followed by sun or moon sign. Rising is most accurate though career perspective holds from sun sign as well. Moon sign gives more information on the influence on personal life. As this complements the Capricorn full moon, do check that if you haven't checked for your specific zodiac sign because that will merge with the trends we discussed today for your sign. I publish all of my written content now on Substack. You can sign up for my free newsletter on it so you receive all the transit updates as a written transcript for you to reference any time you want. I would like to thank my patrons for their support for the channel. If you would like to support my work, if you find it meaningful or helpful in any ways to you, at cost of a coffee a month, you can choose to become a patron to support the content of this channel. I will leave the link to both in details. My name is Charu and now our channel's name is also Astrology with Charu. I hope you like the new name. I'm your host on this journey. So let's dig in. Hi Gemini, Gemini this season infuses fresh energy into your house of self-worth and net worth. And now since your ruler Mercury is also into your house of self-worth and net worth, that is the focus of your mind, of your discussions as well. The focus is on finding new sources of income, enhancing income and enhancing your body which is also an asset. New opportunity, new desire and some impulsive buying or splurging on yourself is called for. Some comfort food, some security in material resources is what you might be looking for. This is normally a time when we look at our budget and investments. Some lucrative investments are made or assets are bought. Money, salary, cherished possessions, food, cooking, spending time, boosting self-esteem, a bit of indulgence, they are in focus. Your five senses are woken up and it's time to feed them. Your ruler Mercury, which rules our thinking and our discussions will be here till 27th of July. So the discussions on net worth, new opportunities, new negotiations around money and income will continue till that time and there might be some new information on assets that you might be digging into which could be financial assets. Financially, it's a good time to take stock, formulate financial goals, look for new sources of income, find more lucrative talents that bring you comfort, things that you feel are more you when you're doing them, the, the skills that make you feel more comfortable in your skin. Cancer season is not about the push, it's about letting the skills that suit you, let them flow in. With Mercury now here, negotiation of financial nature can be well executed or thinking in the direction of new skills, new financial resources and revenues could be more constructively done as your ruler is focused on it. Nurture your body, take out time to take care of yourself, do what helps your self-esteem, invest in your self-growth, be your own cheerleader here. It's the time for it. You are the more sensitive right now when it comes to self-respect, so be mindful of that. Some things are not really said to hurt your ego, but they can be taken that way right now. Start fresh in worthiness, in valuing yourself and your skills more. And from that place, ways of increasing financial income will come through. 
and they will come through in non standard ways because both neptune and uranus are making a positive aspect to your financial houses right now which means that certain very inspirational ideas and something which is out of the box right now could help you in generating a new source of income neptune just went retrograde on 25th of june and it's pretty much at the same degree showing us an inspirational view of your career and external status or title i spoke of it in detail in your neptune retrograde note i'll link that below in your in the details it's currently activating around 23 degree of gemini or around 14th of june born gemini sun the most it dissolves what's not real in our life path when it's here so a career uh, which might have been a topic of confusion for a while for you it is slowly dissolve what's not real in it to make space for something more inspired you all have been on that journey since the stars it began in 2012 and the shift in who you are to the rest of the world what's your title and what's your inspired path forward would continue to evolve till it's here till 2025 july is the last month in 2021 though when both neptune and jupiter are together in your career this is excellent transit to happen they will be together in 2022 which i have covered also in the in the 2022 preview with you so while the inspired path is being shown you're also eager to know the revenue source you should take advantage of this time while jupiter is in your house of career because it expands what we can achieve in our career during this time but because it is positively aspecting your money house right now it can bring some opportunities which are lucrative in nature from revenue perspective so you are also uh, at this time maybe digging what are the right skill sets that are required to enhance your value uh, your market value which can be brought through a positive conversation with an authority figure or some out of box ideas that come through conversations this new moon and the period that's happening right now over these two weeks they offer information on what are these revenue sources what are the skills required and how can you derive more comfort from a more inspired path because the path may not be very clear with neptune here but you need to have more faith in it and this aspect can give you more confidence more conviction in your career path this is a new start and a new way of thinking on money on skills and on assets it's a new way of thinking as your ruler comes out of shadow and we think differently and it supports the volatility below the surface that you're feeling due to fears or past failures this positive aspect shows that you have the opportunity to earn from a career that is well suited to your skills and your temperament money and status could be achieved from what you enjoy doing in some cases it can show money or support given from an authority like a self worth boost from a person in authority or a new source of income shown by a person of authority or money given from a father figure neptune in house of career creates wide public support of what you choose to do as jupiter and neptune they are currently aspecting 1 degree and 23 degree of gemini they would feel this positive influence the most gemini around gemini rising sun or moon around 1 degree and 23 degree of gemini maybe 2 degrees before and after will feel this positive influence between your material houses where some support is given and the skills you have they have wider acceptance and you achieve more success in terms of getting acceptance for what new you're trying to do they will experience the most at this time and that is gemini sun around 22nd of may or around 14th of june born but as i mentioned in the part 1 in the cancer new moon as well as the july video we would face an opposition a power struggle over our endeavor on or around 17th of july and then again on 25th of july this could be from your partner business or financial this shows a power struggle pluto is in your house of precedes a partnership and it is meant to change the balance of give and take in your partnerships change our dependency that we have on others especially financially if you have a dependency on another as well as emotionally pluto means to put you 
independent when it comes to both your uh, both your financial situation as well as your emotional support it is also meant to change the power you hold in a partnership and how you assert yourself in joint situation pluto is the death of weak in us and with this opposition whatever is blocking your self worth and net worth would come to focus and you would be pushed to remove that blockage by changing a pattern that reduces who you are this could come as a sexual or financial power play in partnership but this is also a health aspect so there could be a addiction or a negative health habit or a negative emotional habit that can show you what is hurting your health or taking care of your body in some ways at this moment you would be well placed to be careful of any financial matters which are joint in nature so joint financial loans taxes insurance there might be some dispute over that and issues below the surface on them could come for fixing this aspect is a driver for you to aim higher when it comes to your financial goals as well as your self care and self worth goals putting your assets your body your self worth first instead of compromising in joint situation would come to surface it will come with friction it will come through conflict but you would be pushed to stand up for yourself gemini rising sun or moon around 25 degree of gemini or around 16th of june born gemini sun would feel this the most around 17th of july and then again 25th of july in fact end of june you might have already experienced a preview of this conflict this can lead to the biggest physical and financial transformation of your life but it would come because of recognizing that something is not working for you financially or in your diet something is not working in your diet or something someone is not working for you for your mental health a dysfunction will come to light neptune is in your house of career which is very inspiring but it's also idealistic as neptune has just gone retrograde there might be certain truths that might be coming to surface as well there might be some reality checks that might be coming to sur- surface as well you have to recognize that there could be joint responsibilities which we would need to navigate doesn't mean that we give up our dreams or inspiration far from it neptune will not let you uh, give up on any inspiring dream but yes some of the idealistic things which do not take into account reality of execution would be shown to you as neptune is now retrograde as well as if there are certain responsibilities you have to others that will also come to surface we are meant to see these things clearly 18th of july shows need for a number of those adjustments post the conflict as does the period following the 25th of july verbal conflict recognize that this is the best position of pluto as it's the lord of transformation and it sits in your house of death and rebirth it's the midpoint of that phoenix moment and some important realizations and information needs to come to open to deal with it but it will happen through friction there are certain things that need to be weeded out in your professional and personal life and this dysfunction will come to surface so we can irrevocably remove certain weeds so you can move forward you would find yourself pushed to show your power in some ways at this time and pushed to remove certain negative uh weeds which are growing either in your financial life or in your health life or in your personal and emotional life which need to be irrevocably removed to be able to move forward we have to do cancer season before we can take risk when we have leo season coming next month you will find your communication houses your commercial houses activated and they cannot be fully activated till we have weeded out what needs to be detox what needs to be removed from your life and it cannot happen till you take charge of your self respect when you 
take charge of your ego you take charge of your self worth and you take charge of your body and you take charge of your finances which is the goal of these two weeks to set that base up so we can move to the commercial transactions we can move to speaking out we can move to initiating something new which is commercial which is innovative in august so that's what i have for you gemini i hope you have a great month ahead i'll see you in the next video now thank you